morning guys this is katie and today we are heading to chinatown in bangkok and i thought i would share with you a night in chinatown So this hotel is the Shanghai Mansion. So we were heading down to Chinatown and we were staying a night at the Shanghai Mansion. We actually booked this hotel about a year ago and then everything got closed down because of COVID. So we had to reorganize the dates that we went. And you can see that this is a very unique and quirky hotel in Chinatown. So Chinatown is a popular area to stay if you are visiting Bangkok because it is not too far from the old town, it's not too far from Koh San Road and there are a lot of restaurants around and this hotel is a very pretty hotel. It is obviously themed to Chinatown hence its name the Shanghai Mansion and we felt that the customer service was great, the hotel itself was wonderful and I would definitely recommend it if you are visiting and wanting to stay in the Chinatown area. For me, this was a little bit too touristy, but we'll get into that later. So the hotel room, we were staying in room 403. So this is just their standard room. They do have bigger rooms available, but because we booked this during COVID, we had done like some deal that they had on. And I think we only paid about 750 baht for the night. I think that is about, that's like half price. Normally they would charge around 1,500 baht. But you can see here that it is a four poster bed that they offer, which is really nice. This is very similar to the style of beds that you would get in a courtyard hotel in Beijing when we, when we used to live in China. That's the type of hotel beds that we would find there. And it was really lovely decorated, some very bright colors some lanterns hanging from the walls it was very clean so we had no complaints about that um, we didn't have a view here but it was on a very busy street it's literally on the main street of chinatown so i'm not entirely sure what the view would have been anyway um but they did have kind of this colorful window instead that had lights coming through it so nice decorations around the room and it was a, it was a nice comfortable place the only problem I had with the bed is I don't, I hate it when hotels put beds up against walls. I find it really irritating because both me and Callum do not like sleeping against the wall and we get claustrophobic and yeah, that was just one little thing that I just didn't like about it. But yeah, apart from that, everything was great and I love the fact that they gave us these little tea sets as well. That was a nice little touch um, and something that we could enjoy in the morning. And then the actual bathroom itself it had these like double doors that you could use to go into the bathroom the shower was fairly good and it had these weird these strange um this strange decoration of like animals in a bird cage which was a little bit off-putting i'll be honest when we were showering but yeah that is the room and we are going to head out now and find somewhere to eat some lunch After we checked in, we just kind of went for a little wander and we found this. Um, it was literally around the corner from the hotel. Longman Yawarat. I don't know if I'm saying it right. But it's a little kind of Chinese slash Thai cafe. We're going to have a bit of coffee and a few little kind of snack things. Callum is having, what is this? Head and tail of crab balls with Tom Yum. Very, very Chinese. Um, and then I'm going to give the uh, rice with shrimp slices and egg a try and then we're also going to have some shrimp rolls as well so it should be nice and it is very warm today guys it's like 34 degrees which is crazy but uh, this is such a cute little cute little cafe I'm glad we found it So 
So we really enjoyed that meal and now we are just going to be walking around the Chinatown area. So the first place we come along to is a temple. So this is the Wat Tramit Wathiaram Warawayan Temple. <laughs> I will put the text on the screen. But this temple, it was actually like, I think it was like half four. So it was closing soon. This temple only stays open till 5 p.m. and we didn't really have too much time. So we popped in there to have a look and take some photographs. It was a really pretty temple and the people here were really friendly and um, it was quite nice to see monks here um, leaving the temple as well. So it's always, it's always nice to see more of a local temple, even though this is in a touristy destination, it's always nice to see temples being used for their the reasoning for them. <laughs> So guys, we've had like a little wander around and we are now at the Golden Gate. So, just behind me, it's, I call it the Golden Gate, it's not the Golden Gate, it's the China Gate. So this is like the starting point, I'll take this off, this is the starting point of Chinatown. Um, so you can come here during the day and you can also come here at night time and it's all lit up. So we might come back down here later, but this is uh, one of the iconic landmarks here in Chinatown. But a little fun tip for you, if you are in Bangkok, in, oh, in 7-Eleven, they have these. They are like tucked away. They are, the green ones are scented. I prefer the blue ones, but they only have the green ones in the 7-Eleven near our hotel. But they are like cold, really cold, cold towels. And they're tucked away normally where, like in the fridge where the drinks are. Um, and if you are out and about in Thailand and you're really warm, grab one of these. It's still like, 33 degrees and we were feeling warm so we've come back to the hotel to freshen up before we go out this evening and they are a lifesaver oh, not not a good look i know so i shall chill out and see you in a bit so we are in chinatown and it is full on chinatown looks all the food stores are out all of the vendors are out selling their food. We have a little wonder before the rain comes because it's due to rain in a little while. So let's have a little exploration, shall we? Anyway, we are walking down this street. There are lots of street vendors. Something that was interesting to see was a delicacy called a shark fin soup, which is something that is very popular down this street. We haven't tried it. We didn't try it in China. We didn't try it here, but it is a popular dish to try. But just to be aware, if you are thinking about trying it here, it is mainly available inside restaurants, not on the street and it is quite expensive because they know that it is something very popular with tourists. Um, but there are also plenty of other foods to try. I'll be honest guys, because we've lived in China, we tr tried a bit of food that you'll see later on, but I definitely stopped and got myself a Mickey Mouse shaped pancake because that is the type of person I am. headed back to our hotel the Shanghai mansion and we were having a few drinks here for the evening this is our anniversary so we were celebrating being married for five years now so that was our evening we listened to a bit of music and then we popped outside to get some street food to take back to our room so we tried um, this Michelin starred 
snack here and then we also got some meat skewers as well and that was our evening in Chinatown and it was a really interesting fun evening I'm glad that we did it it was a unique experience and I'm glad that we went would I rush back probably not but we have lived in China so that's part of the reason why um but thank you so much for watching this video guys if you found this interesting please make sure you give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe the next video is actually we are going to mbk shopping mall and my husband callum is getting a playstation 5 yep we are going shopping so thank you so much for watching and i shall see you really soon bye